Girl, you don't even want to know what's going on. First of all, first of all, Kennedy, I can't believe that room looks like Kennedy. You really got some nerve. Kennedy, Kennedy, you said Kennedy. It's Thursday. I haven't turned this camera on, okay? It's Thursday because, and I wonder if this is the wrong, I feel like this is not a good, hold on. Is this any better? See, I'm over here trying to figure out what daggone um, thing to put my thing on, what setting to keep my camera on. I do not know. We gonna leave it on auto for now because I, I ain't got time. That's one last thing I need to worry about. For the last couple of days, I'm not gonna say I've been putting a lot of thought into trying to figure out the filming situation. I haven't. But what I will tell you is because my portable hard drive is broken and the SD card that I was working on was filled, I was trying to delete stuff from my old portable hard drive, but I would delete and it still wouldn't show me that there was space. So then I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I kind of just like, was like, okay, I'll handle it the next day. Then the next day comes, I still couldn't figure it out. I was like, I'll figure it out the next day. Anyway, we get to today and it's like, all right, now we need to figure something out. So what I did was I just used one of my old SD cards, which is this. I emptied it and I'm just filming on a new SD card and I'll worry about the hard drive. I need to worry about it now because none of this will matter if I can't edit. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I can't save my footage, then this is all. So I have to, I'm gonna need to go to Best Buy today basically and get that fixed all right so we're in this room today's this is what today's agenda looks like the first thing i want to do because i thought about this last night and now i'm just i'm in the mood so this is a good time for me to do it the first thing i want to do is see about changing up what this room look like me not using this second bedroom but me fully paying for it every first of the month well every third of the month because I'm, I'm not paying them niggas on the first y'all gonna get that money on the last day um but me paying rent every month for a space that I'm not actually utilizing is not gonna work for me. So it's like, let's let's figure this out, let's figure this out. So here we are. I moved that puff into this room. These are clean like a police. I moved the puff into this room because I didn't want it out there anymore. But I don't really want it in here either. Or at least like, I can keep it in here, but it needs a new, it, it can't just be sitting in the middle of the room like this. So I have to figure that out. But that's not the first thing I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is move this desk because I really wanna see what this desk would look like if it was actually catty cornered, right? And it was right here, right? And it was more so like an office and I could set up the lights and I could film right here when I want to film right here, okay? So there's gonna be some rearranging happening, moving things. I have to order shelves for shoes. I have to order shelves for my purses. So for now, cause it's either I'm gonna move it so then it's just like here, or I'm gonna move it so then it's like here. Okay, yeah, so let's get it. I don't even know where it starts. <laughs> to is that I have to get rid of a lot of things 
Like I have to get my setup. Like I have to order those shelves because yeah. And it's gonna go over here. So over here where I have that weird purse set up that's looking crazy right now. I'm going to get some shelves and that's where I'll have my bags and shoes. But I need to set that up and then I can like move this rug around, figure out where I wanna put this table. Yeah, I can set these lights up. Let me show you the lights, hold on. grocery situation because I'm not gonna be home that much this weekend leading up into my birthday. Woo! Nice. Sometimes ain't nothing like a fresh OJ. It ain't nothing like a fresh OJ. <laughs> and I guess it's not fresh or whatever, but it tastes fresh to me. It don't, but it do. So it's different types of carnations. These right here, these not the same as these. See how the flower looks more full? and this doesn't look as full. So if you see these, don't bother with these cause these gonna be done in the next few days, I could tell. But these are flourishing. And also the ones that I got three weeks ago, they still got a few more days on them. I'm gonna put them in some fresh water, but they're still looking good. There's like one of them that's browning, this one right here, the tips are browning. But for the most part, these are doing great. I'm gonna put some fresh water in there and see if it can go even longer. But that's what I'm talking about. Give me my money work. You shouldn't be, I don't think you should have to be spending money on flowers every week. <clears throat> There's some flowers like these lilies I just got that I know are only gonna last me up until a certain point. You know what I'm saying? They bloom and then they're done. But I love lily and I wanted them in the house during my birthday. Why is my battery dying? That's annoying. So I need to, I guess, let me let this charge for a little bit and then I'll come back so y'all can see me clean up. Cause I need to clean up my whole living room. It's just messy. So I'll do some work, let this charge come back and then we'll clean up.
things on my mind. First of all, let me not talk while I look like this. Where is, I am in a mood to use this hair product for some reason. I just, I'm, I just want to. Old school Cantu leave-in conditioner repair cream. And the thing about it is, is that this used to be my girl, okay? Like, they used to be my girl and then, you know, just started using other shit. So, also, this is what my hair looks like when I decide to wear a scarf. Like, let me lift up. Okay, hold on. Okay, this angle isn't working for me. I have to bring in the real machinery. Please hold. All right, fabulous. So, I have a few things on my mind. Number one, I want to make today a better day than yesterday. And yesterday was not a bad day. Can I get myself together before you start listening to me? Before you, like, make me talk? Can I? Can I? <laughs> okay. But I want to make today a better day than yesterday. And whenever I'm in this mood of just like, you know, I don't want to have my day be like yesterday. Mind you, yesterday was not a bad day. But for me, what that what that means is that just I have to think of just like one thing that would have made yesterday a better day. You know, I could do the same things I did yesterday. But what's one additional thing I can add to my day that's going to make it feel better than yesterday? And you know what I'm going to do for today? I'm not going to get on my phone. That's going to be today's thing. No phone. I wasn't on my phone a whole lot yesterday, but I was on TikTok Live for hours yesterday. And I feel drained. And I get major ick after a TikTok Live, especially when I'm on there for a long time. I'm just like, girl, you know what I mean? And not because I don't enjoy it, but because to me, I feel like it looks like I don't have a life. <laughs> and it's like, I have a life, I swear. You know, um, so it's just like the cringe of what somebody else might be thinking, but it doesn't last long because then I'd be like, bitch, why do you give a fuck about somebody you don't know thinking something about you that's not even accurate? So it doesn't last long, but it still, it still wears me out. It do. I think I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to diffuse because if I let this air dry, I think it's going to frizz up more and I don't want that. I am going to straighten my hair on Sunday though. It's Friday today. I'm gonna wash and straighten my hair Sunday cause I want my hair straight next week. Also this morning I paid rent and two bills. So I, I don't even wanna talk, girl. That shit be feeling hella fucking personal. Like who came up with these numbers? And why the fuck, why the fuck do I have to pay this shit every motherfucker? It don't even be feeling like 30 days pass for real. Be like, hold up, fuck, I just did this shit. Wait a minute now. I also feel like in February we should pay less for our rent because we're not getting a full 30 to 31 days. Why am I paying you, a, you know, for a 30 31 type of month? So today's agenda looks like this. One brainstorm how to become a rich bitch. The bills got me shook. Okay, bills and rent. I'm like, hold up, hold. it's time to get serious. That's number one. How do we become wealthy? Number two, um, I want to clean up my kitchen and living room. I never ended up doing that yesterday. Remember when I got off and I was like, oh, let me let this charge and then I'll see y'all when I get, I, I, I never cleaned. We'll do that today. Oh, I just started a new show, Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon Prime with Childish Gambino and Maya from Pen15. Amazing. I've only seen one episode, but the first episode was like, ooh, cool. Motherfucker is cool. I like that. It's also summertime outside. Like it's 65 degrees today, or it's gonna be 66 degrees today. So I'm definitely planning on spending some time outside and I have to go to um, Best Buy today because I have to get my, my hard drive looked at and possibly like buy a new hard drive. So I gotta call up there and make sure they have what I need and stop before I go. An update on the living room rug. I still haven't found the rug that I wanna layer with it. I feel like true home decor, it takes some time. And sometimes like, in me, I be dragging my feet on shit. So, cause unless I like absolutely know I want something, I won't buy it. And that purple rug kind of got me because I was getting it on sale and I'm like, if you don't get it now, it's going to go back to its original price. So I was just like, let me catch this Black Friday sale type shit. A hasty move, but a move nonetheless. Ooh. And this is why I love this product, just taking it, taking me back to my roots. Because it does exactly what I knew it was going to do. Which is just revive my hair and have it look 
amazing. One thing I don't love is the smell. It just reminds me of like old school hair products. It's not bad, it's just, it reminds me of the time and I don't want my hair to smell like this. It's like the same as like how you know pink lotion smells, it's like that. Like I like for my hair to have a like perfumey scent to it if I'm being honest. And by perfumey I mean like the vanillas and the, you know, the, the, the berries and the, you know, shit that your hair shouldn't smell like for real. Um, I like that smell. Okay, I'm gonna leave my hair alone or should I put on a little bit of a... Do I not have a serum? Oh, it's right here. I'm trying to decide if I should put on a serum. No, I'm gonna just let it rock. I think I am gonna let it air dry. Okay, let's attack this kitchen. Hold on, girl, I'm seeing it. They going to front line. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, seeing something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. I mean, let me focus. <laughs> I don't need to be worried about this now. He'll find me, he'll find me, I know. Bought some new incense. Were they overpriced? Of course, but they smelled really nice. Coquina. I got them from a flower shop. Coquina. And I got it because it was like the burn time 60 minutes. I was like, 60 minutes? Okay, let's put it to the test. What time is it? 11.34. 12.34, are you out? All right, didn't hear yet.
Pum, 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 pum. <sighs> How do we want to reward ourselves? Do we want an orange? I don't really, but I should. I don't really, but I should. I'm gonna do it cause I should. I don't really want this flavor right now, but I'm gonna do it cause I should. Let me put you over here. I feel like you're too close. You know what phrase I want put on the shelf for a little bit? Give me some grace. It's always somebody asking for grace who's on their third or fourth offense. Baby, not being given grace and being held accountable are not the same. No, 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 no. They're not the same. I'm about to be on my Cat Williams. No, 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 no. Because I'm, I'm getting sick and tired. Grace can be given whilst also holding you accountable. If you find yourself asking folks to give you grace, okay, and this for something, and you would have to be a person with some awareness to know this or to be able to pay attention to this, but if you know you done did some shit multiple times, don't ask nobody to give you no fuck ass grace. You don't deserve grace. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? You right. This is not a moment where you need grace. I feel like motherfuckers just want to be allowed to fuck off. You know what I'm saying? And like not be held accountable. I refuse, you're not gonna be in my life doing that. And I'm thinking about this because, God damn. The other day, I went out with this dude. It ain't, ain't nothing about it. Girl, ain't nothing. It ain't nothing to discuss. It was a hangout with no date. I don't care what it was for him. I'm telling you what it was for me, bitch. We hung out, <laughs> and he told me, and we were meeting at this place. He wanted me to meet him at that place at five o'clock. Cool. It's the day of the hangout. He texts me in the morning, like looking forward to seeing you. Great, great, great. Um, I start getting ready around 2.30. I'm done by 4.30. I, I hadn't heard from him since the morning time. So I sent him a text like, hey, let me know when you're headed that way. So then I'll know to call my Uber and head that way. So we can be there at the same time. I don't want to be standing out in the cold waiting for him because I needed him. We needed to show up together because he had the tickets for where we were going. He responds at five o'clock saying, okay, I'll let you know when I'm heading out. Okay, so obviously we're not gonna be there at five o'clock. So I sent a text and I was like, ain't you the same person that said you wanted to be there at five o'clock? Now, let me give you some backstory. The last three times we've hung out, he's been late. Every single time, he's late. It's not like crazy late, but it's late. And when I say crazy late, I feel like crazy late is like, I'm waiting 30 minutes. If I'm waiting 10, 15 minutes, that's not a big deal. But the fact that every time we hang out, I'm waiting for you to show up, that's annoying now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's happened three times. So I was like, ain't you the same person who said you wanted to be there at five? I will not be listening to your times no more. He gonna respond talking about some, oh, I'm in traffic. Oh, he's like, oh, I, I checked them Uber prices from my crib and they were high as shit. So I decided to drive and I'm in traffic, please give me some grace. Huh? Let me tell you why that annoyed me. You're saying give me some grace like you communicated to me that you changed your plans. I didn't know you decided to no longer take an Uber and you decided to drive like a dumbass. I didn't know you did that. So I didn't realize. So this is not, uh, to me when someone says please give, you know, give me grace, to me the energy is like, you know, chill, you know, chill, just chill on me. It's that energy, like, you know, give, give me, you know, give me some grace. And I don't like that because I'm not like on your back about it, you know? So it's like, don't do that. I, you know you late. You know that you told me you wanted to get there at five o'clock. And you should also know that since you told me you wanted to get there at five o'clock, I'm now gonna be sitting waiting for you because I was ready to leave my house at 4.30 so I can get there at five o'clock. And now I'll be sitting here waiting for you to get to wherever you're getting to because he wanted to go someplace and then Uber from there. So it's like, now I am going to be waiting for 30 plus minutes because you didn't communicate that you were gonna drive instead of Uber. So how about you give me some grace for your lack of communication? How about you not say, give me some grace, cause you know that you didn't communicate. So instead you give me some grace and don't assume that I'm on your back about it. And actually just assume that I don't know what the fuck is going on. How about that? How about that? Challenge! For any and everyone who catches himself asking folks to give them grace, I would like for you to think about the last time you gave the person who you're asking for grace from when you gave them grace. Cause it's starting to feel one-sided. Starting to feel one-sided. That's all I'm saying. I'll give you some grace, all right. To hell. No, cause they're pissing me off. So anyway, girl, I returned them pillows. Them pillows is gone. Cashier was like, oh, these are cute though. I said, they cute until you give them a good sniff. 
girl she sniffed it she said i said yeah duck feather she was like that's really crazy because i have some pillows that are just like this but like i use them as decorative on my bed and i just try not to like lay on them i'm like girl see i'm not trying to live like that i'm not trying to like avoid the smell should nothing in my house stink you know <laughs> like why would i put myself through that for the look i can find some other pillows that look like that i can't do it so after this i'm gonna I think get cute a little bit. Get a little cute since I'm gonna leave the house. And um, yeah. Okay, so I'll see you for the get cute portion of it all. Get cute, we'll see. <laughs> Cause y'all already know. You know how you have things that like, yeah, they could be replaced, but it's like, why would you? Because they work just fine. For me, that's my toe separators for my toes when I'm doing my toenails, like painting them. It's just like, <sighs> I've had them since like, I've had them for a very long time, like over 10 years type shit. I feel like I got them fresh out of high school. And it's like, not like high school was a long time ago, girl. Like I'm basically a teenager still, but damn. Yeah. Can I get my thrills? You know you want some more, come on. I like the hourglass thing, but it's too, I think it's too neutral in some areas where I need it to be not neutral. Like I need something that's the perfect, I, when I see my skin, I see yellow and I just feel like I haven't found, and maybe it's like more like yellow green. I just feel like I haven't found the thing that does the thing that I need. I, yeah, I don't want full face, but I do want some coverage. So I am going to finger pat this onto my skin. I don't know where it cut off, but I was basically saying that this hourglass tint shit, sometimes I feel like it's too neutral. I also think it's best applied with your fingers. Like when I apply it with a brush, I don't get the same amount of coverage. And I do want some coverage. I just did the smallest amount right there and I had a lot of coverage. Here I'm gonna do again the smallest amount on this side. Um, okay, I just booked my appointment at Best Buy to get this hard drive looked at so then we are good to go because I have to start editing tomorrow. I actually need to finish editing tomorrow because my birthday is on Tuesday and I have plans on Monday. So we got to get the day to Yelpa. And I got, yeah, I got plans on Monday. I'm going, I'm going places on Monday. Uh. Okay, so. Don't have much time to chat. I need to go. Oh, I really, I would love to put these shoes on, but I don't feel like walking around in these all day. I have too much like I need to do. So I have on my Joe Fresh Goods. And yeah, I'll see you girls when I get back. And today, because every day, and this is just for me, right? Every day, I want to be showing something, either ass or titties. That's me, that's what I'm on right now. So today, it's titties, a little bit of titties. Like, it's still not even a tight top, it's a loose top. And the bottoms are also not tight. They're they're loose, they're giving loose in the, loose in the jean, loose in the butt, you know? So, yeah, it's not, it's not that. Um, anyway, girl, so I'll see you when I get back, bye. I didn't say the reason why I wanna do either ass or titties. I feel like, and I was telling my homeboy this, I be wearing baggy clothes all the time that as a gift to myself, I would like to show a little bit more just off the strength of knowing that this year I would like to attract the man of my dreams. And I just think if I present myself in a way where I show something, cause bitch, we all got eyes and we got, you know what I'm saying, interest. My man gonna be interested in this ass and titties and face, but I'm just giving him a little bit more. This is me, this is where I'm at with it, you know? Might change, could change. But right now, ass and titties, ass and titties, ass and titties. So one or the other, or sometimes both. Um, but today, it's just a little bit of titty. It's barely any titty. Like, bitch, if we really gonna talk about it, it's barely any titty, but you know, a little bit for today. Okay, I gotta go, bye. Girl just came back from Best Buy. They told me my little portable hard drive is good as gone. It's kaput. So, bye. Um, is it annoying? Yes, but we've got to move on. So I purchased a new hard drive. This is an SSD hard drive. It's different from a mechanical hard drive. I'm not even going to pretend to like tell you the specifics. Just, I got something new, okay? And I'll let you know if I like this thing because I will be using it tonight. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna 
start my um my stuff tonight. Okay, I'm about to eat some tuna I made last night. Like there's leftover. Eat it with these chickpeas. I like these chickpeas from Trader Joe's. I actually have to go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go on a walk first and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. It's so nice outside. Definitely summertime. Everybody's outside. Just like, let me go enjoy the day before the sun goes down. But I haven't eaten yet, so I'm like, let me eat. I need to eat something, I'm hangry. You don't have to put these on the stove. I'm doing it because I want them a little warmed up. Um, it's just the flavor I want right now. So, yeah. But you could like take them right out the can and eat them. Honestly, something is poking my butt. Oh, why did I get a splinter on my butt multiple times? Sitting on wood benches, got a splinter on my butt twice. Uh -uh. That's number one. Number two, I'm in Best Buy, and the other day I was in my homegirl's car, and I played her this song from back in the day that used to be on my MySpace that I love, and she didn't uh, remember it. She had never heard it, actually, because it's a real, like, if you know, you know song, and they were playing the song in Best Buy. It was so random. It was so random. But shit like that, I just think it's so cool and I feel like God is talking to me because what are the chances that that song would be playing? And the, the thing too is that I was telling her that I hadn't listened to the song in so long and it came up one day when I was listening to my music and I was like, oh my, this song, I love this song. It's um, Lover's Thing by Sierra and the Dream. And it's just like, <sighs> I love shit like that. I just love shit like that. No, no, I love you like that. I love you like that. All right, so we got our tuna. I'm gonna get me some chickpeas. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, I need to get some chickpeas. Yeah, 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 I need to get some chickpeas. On Married to Medicine and man. Dr. Heavenly, I guess she's necessary on the show because like if she wasn't being annoying, where did I put my fork? Fork? Oh, I see it. If she wasn't being annoying and a shit starter, um, then what would the show even, like entertainment wise, like what would the show even give? But oh, she's so annoying to me. And people who be going up for Dr. Heavenly, I'm just like, what kind of bitch are you then? Cause Dr. Heavenly, like, be like, she's so funny to me. I mean, I'm like, I, I get how sometimes she say stuff that's off the wall and it's funny, cause she don't care. But for the most part, that type of personality, that careless, I don't give a fuck whose feelings I'm hurting, I'll be brash and gross. Not my kind of bitch. Yeah. Fried chickpeas. Order up. A little hot, a little cold. I'm so excited for tonight. Give me, give me, what are you doing? What are you excited for? Wait, who are you about to see? Who are you I'm excited to watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Well, I really enjoyed that first episode. And I really like Childish Gambino and the girl. I saw someone on Twitter that was like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith are supposed to be hot. I'm just like, I find them attractive. I know what they're getting at. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> The last Mr. and Mrs. Smith was fucking Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. So it's like, that's the type of hot people were expecting. But I think Childish Gambino and Maya, I think her, Maya, what's her last name? Erskine. They are the kind of like quirky hot, you know? Childish Gambino is not a bad looking guy. Um, I do think it's an acquired taste situation. I feel like they're like smart hot. Like you, it's like, yeah, it's quirky hot. I don't know, I get it. I'm feeling it already. I'm like, ooh, what y'all about to get into? Like, I like it, I like it. And what's so funny is that if you actually watch the show, it starts off with two conventionally hot people, you know, based on like European standards. I like how it started, I said, ooh, woo! Okay. Triple parenting, it's just we've always put Kimberly first. Ah. Few things. 
things. Number one, my allergies were going crazy out there. My allergies were literally going crazy. Another thing, I wish that I had like a cute, oh, I guess I do. I was thinking about, I just want a nice thin pair of black frames, like a very thin wire type situation. For a while I was looking for white frames and I guess I still kind of am like, if the, if the right pair comes my way, then I would get them. But yeah, right now, I'm looking for a thin pair. And I don't shop on sites like Zillow and those other sites because for me, what's really important is that they get the measurements right. So for my non-glasses wearers, when you get your prescription in, there's something called, I think it's an OS or an OC, and also the PD. And so the PD is your pupil distance and the OC, the OC or the OS, I don't know what that is. So basically it measures where your eyes actually land in the glasses. So when you buy glasses online and you don't get to have that in-person measurement, sometimes it'll be off, most times it'll be off. Especially if you have astigmatism or you really need corrective lenses, that's gonna matter. For some people who have like a really low eye prescription situation, it probably won't matter. But for me, it's like I'm dependent on my glasses. So if the vision is off, then I can't wear them. I have a pair of frames that are like that that I just got that I need to get corrected because it's I can't wear them. And I had two frames that I got when I was in New York that I recently got corrected. I told y'all about them. Um, it was these. And I never wore them because the PD was off. And I got them corrected. I couldn't find the other frame that I bought from that brand in New York, which is really annoying because I spent a great amount of money on that and I don't know where those frames are. I must have left them in New York, which is crazy to me. But yeah, so got those corrected. Anyway, let me take a sip of water, girl. On my walk, I was like, let me try something new. Got me a little coconut latte. It just tasted like coffee, like unsweetened coffee. It was horrible. I went back, asked for more of the coconut syrup, asked for more coconut sugar. Still nasty. I said, okay, girl, I'm just, you know, some, some shit just ain't good. I said, right, you know what, look, I, let me get about your hair, okay? Because nothing's changed. Okay, let me talk to you real quick. Wanna know how to make the fluffiest scrambled eggs? I'll show you. Now, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a few things that you shouldn't do. Well, I'm gonna do one thing that you shouldn't do, which is I'm gonna be using a fork on this pan. I know I should not do that. I know, I know. I guess I don't have to, I can use this. But I like using a fork, I feel like it gets more fluffier. I'm using what I like. Well, I can use a whisk. I could use a whisk. I guess I can use a whisk. Fine, I'll use a whisk. All right, I'll use a whisk. First of all, I'm gonna turn my pan on. I mean, yeah, turn the stove on. It's on low. The whole thing is like, don't have your pan hella hot. Cause cook, uh, eggs cook really fast and you're gonna end up burning your bitch. What, I can't talk. You're gonna end up burning your eggs. So, I don't need that much coconut oil. So like, about that much coconut oil. Let that go in there. Cook with whatever you want. I like coconut oil. Before the pan even gets hot, I'm putting these eggs in. I'm just gonna get the coconut oil kind of all around. I don't want the pan hot when I put these eggs in. Ooh, got a little shell. The best way to get a shell out is to use the shell. If you're trying to use your hand, you ain't gonna get it. Come on out. Okay, I'm just about to have crunchy eggs. I swear I know how to do this, hold on. Wait a minute, let me just turn that light on. I can't see your, that's all I did. I can't see. Okay, and it's just weirdly, it's just weirdly positioned, excuse me. And then, we just, okay, got it. Excuse me. Huh. So we got that shell up. Okay, so the eggs still ain't barely even cooking yet. I'm about to start scrambling them. What I'm taking out right now is cream cheese because this is a new thing I'm doing. I saw the chef do this one time. I said, wait, I'm about to start doing that. It just makes them even more fluffier. I'm gonna do this amount. You don't need this much, but I'm doing this. And really for me, it's like, I'm trying to get rid of this cream cheese. Like I wanna use it. I don't want it to go bad. So I'm just using it. Again, I'm still on low heat, but now that I'm sitting here, I'll up the heat a little bit. Now, the trick to fluffy eggs is to just keep whisking, keep scrambling. You just never stop scrambling. That's one of the major keys to getting the perfect, soft, 
fluffy eggs. I normally use a fork, so if this comes out wrong, it's gonna be because I'm using something different. I'm trying to not get on y'all nerves by using a fork and me getting all these comments. Kennedy, you shouldn't use a fork because the stuff from the pan gets into your food. I know, girl, I know. Okay, I'm gonna turn the stove down because I can tell it's too hot. And actually, you know what's so crazy? I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually turn the stove off. And my eggs are still kind of runny a little bit. But the thing about this is the pot is so hot that the eggs are still gonna cook. Eggs cook very easily and very quickly. I don't mind a little wetness a little moisture in my eggs. I know some people want them to be more, um, you need them to be cooked harder than this. Me, I'm okay with them just like that. Another fun fact about me, I don't season my eggs. I know, I know, I know. And I used to be, I used to be a, a, a pepper girl, put some pepper in there, put some paprika in there, you know. Onion powder, garlic powder. Okay, this plate looks crazy. Like, I'm not gonna show you this plate. I should have showed you the eggs before I put these chickpeas in. The chickpeas look crazy, cause it's just, I just need to cook these, but the eggs are so soft and fluffy. Oops, they're very soft and fluffy. Maybe you're not gonna like it. It's good though, it's good to me. You can put a little Parmesan on top if you want. Me, put a little bit of ketchup. Then I'm going to sleep tonight before midnight. I do not want to be up all hours. Anyway, girls. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, the moon is literally in my vision. Very cool. Um, okay. Hey, girl. I'm about to do my makeup. It is Saturday, and my friend is treating me to a day. Like, she sent me a little itinerary for the next couple of days leading up to my birthday. And today, I'm meeting her at her house. She's probably gonna cook me some breakfast brunchy type situation and then i don't know what we're doing she just said we're gonna explore a new place let's sit like that um doing that and then later we're going to her family's house where we're gonna enjoy one of my favorite meals that her mom cooks i love her home i love her family so much so that was a request of mine like can we go to your mama and so we're gonna do that. I can't wait for that. I really can't. I haven't thought about this yet. I'm just gonna talk out loud as I think about it. Like how I'm feeling, if this birthday means anything to me, like type shit. And birthdays always mean something to me in the sense of just like, wow, I'm a year older. And every time I get older, I'm like, I can't believe I'm this age. Like I never pictured myself this age. You know what I mean? And I think what it is, is like less about I never pictured myself this age and more that like, I don't think this version of me existed in my head. You know what I mean? Like I didn't see this life for myself. There are elements of my life that yes, I, I did see for myself, but I don't know, I think that there are certain things that I've been through in my life that I thought were going to, like for lack of better words, like hold me back or create some kind of something that didn't allow me to move forward. And it actually didn't. What am I looking for right now that I cannot see? Concealer, oh, I moved it over here. Do a little concealer. Like I'll give you an example. There are things that I went through as like a teenager and you know, early 20s that really created a lot of strife and stress and emotional and mental hindrance for me. And I don't think I ever envisioned myself getting through those things the way that I have because I didn't have examples of the way that I've decided to move forward. Like just like healthy, emotional, compassion, consideration. I guess what I'm saying is just like, um, like mentally and emotionally, I am much better than I ever dreamed. And that's not to say that there aren't like bad days and stressful moments and shit, but I guess just like the way that I go through things, it's just very mature. And I'm very proud of that because there were times in my life where the way that I handled situations affected all the other parts of my life, created a lot of stress for me and determined my next steps and Stress is so important to manage and to have a hold of because stress can really fuck you up. And it used to have me fucked up. It used to have me fucked up. Sometimes it do still be having me fucked up. That's what I'm saying, like it's not, it ain't over. But I have such a better hold of it, you know? Such a better hold of it. 
Dang, I should have um, used my new product. I bought this e.l.f. color corrector. There it is, right here. Wink. And I used it yesterday on my stash, and I liked it. Even though it did still kind of, it looked red to me. Like, I don't know if I blended it out well. Wow, I really need like less foundation. Like, I don't need no more foundation. That's all I needed. Yeah, but my stress back in the day used to create health problems for me. My stress affected relationships in my life. You know, I would, what's it called when you like, you mad about something else and so you take it out in a different area in your life. You know, doing that, mismanaging my anger type shit. And you know, these things, they gonna happen until you don't want them to anymore. And I feel like that's the, that's the blessing in aging. It's maturing, it's realization, it's determining whether or not you wanna continue some of the experiences that you've had. Let me wipe this off. And I think that's what I'm feeling. It's just like, I'm very grateful to every year that I get older, while I do be like, what, I'm out? It's like, I'm also very grateful to know better, to be better, to feel closer to really who I am. Like I feel closer to who I am, you feel me? I feel more like myself now than I did 10 years ago. And that's something to celebrate, that's something to acknowledge. One of my guy friends, one of our ways that we connect is he sends me this astrology page. And this astrologer, y'all may have seen him, it's a, well, I'm assuming he's white, he looks white. White guy, and when he does the astrology, he also does it in sign language, which I think is really cool. And um, this recent one that my friend sent me, it felt so accurate. And that's what he was saying when he sent it, like, I've never been so accurately read. And I watched and I was like, wow, yeah, that was really on the nose. He had said he feels like you need to buy something purple. And he eventually said like a purple candle. He was seeing a purple candle. But bitch, you ought to know, I immediately thought about this big ass purple rug I just got. I said, what the? No, 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 because I just bought a purple rug. No, 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 I just bought a purple rug. You know, it was one of them like, I literally just got a purple rug. <laughs> like, no, no. This is real. This is real, girl. Now, last night, I stayed up till, what time was it? I had to be like three. I could not go to sleep. First of all, I stayed up till like one watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Amazon Prime. Very good. Very good show. Um, well written, well, well shot, well casted. I'm really enjoying it. I'm three episodes in, so, and don't share any spoilers in the comments. But yeah, I stayed up hella late, so I'm feeling kind of tired. Like, I had to drag myself out of bed, but I have a call time today. I gotta be at my friend's house at 11 a.m., and I don't want to be late to get on the good foot. I can't even say good foot without thinking about that lady. Also, I was, I have a part of that song that's stuck in my head that I don't want stuck in my head, and it's the line on your part, like a nightmare. I did decide to go to the spa. I booked an appointment for tomorrow, Sunday. It's really the only day that I can go, and I'll also be working while I'm in the spa. But I was like, you know what, that'll be my birthday treat because my friend has made arrangements literally for the next three, four days for us to celebrate my birthday, and I wanna be able to do all that. So tomorrow, I'm taking my computer with me to the spa. My appointment's not until 5.30 but I'm gonna go at like two. I called them last night to make sure I could do this and just work until my spa appointment time, get my massage, and then stay there and keep working until they close for real, for real. I wanna finish, maybe like have just only like a little bit to do on Monday. I really don't want anything to do on Monday because Monday, I wanna straighten my hair. So I wanna leave Monday open for that. I need to get that done early so I have enough time to wrap it. Okay, we're powdered where we want to be. Did I try the new, uh, well it's not new, but it's new to me because I've never used it. Should I try this today? Every time I want to try it, I'm like, no, I don't, I, I don't want to risk it being like not what I want. This is fussy heat. I like it because it's like a, a pale pink. And it doesn't like show up a lot, but I just like that it's like, it, to me I feel like it shows up a little bit. But I know my lips got a tint to them. So they be looking the same lucky, <laughs> regardless of what I put on. Pretty. I'm gonna see y'all when I come back. Bye.
So I just had an amazing day. Let me tell you what an amazing day consists of for me at this stage in the game. So my friend planned, you know, a slew of events for the next few days to celebrate me for my birthday, which in itself, you know, just the thought alone is really, is really special. I've spent a lot of years celebrating my birthday in the quietest way, in the most out your way type way that I could move um, because at a certain point in my life, I, it started to feel like burdensome. And I know a lot of y'all can relate to that of just feeling like, you know, when you don't have your own family celebrating you or your family doesn't make a birthday or the, the, the time around your birthday an opportunity to celebrate you and show up for you, it kind of alters how you expect other people to show up for you. I think you could go one of two ways. You can either expect people to do what your family isn't doing for you, or you expect nothing from no one. And for a long time, I just expected knowing nothing from no one. And luckily, I always had really good friends that were able to show up for me. However, it was still awkward for me to accept celebration around my birthday. I feel like I've shared before that like, it would be, it would be that feeling of like, you know, oh, when you let somebody do something nice for you and then they just like hold it over your head. Like, remember when I did this and this and this for you? You know, that happened more times than I'd like to discuss from, you know, one family member in particular. And it just completely turned me off from allowing someone that type of role in my life where they would like, you know, do something for me. I don't let people do things for me. I am a don't worry about doing nothing type bitch. And I'm kind of getting out of that because I trust the people in my life and there's still, I, I, there are still moments where, you know, I, I try to like be like, no, 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 I'm cool. But I'm learning to let people love me. And um, that's really what it boils down to, like just letting people love me and like show up for me in the ways that they want to and the ways that they're able to. And for, the friends that are in my life at this time in my life, they show love in this way. And it's really nice to experience it. So my friend gifted me with this beautiful, beautiful, thoughtful gift. And um, it's a canvas of a picture that I showed her of me and my family. And it's just, I, I cry like a baby because it was just like, what? It's it's the most thoughtful thing a friend has ever done for me. It was really, really, really nice. Um, I told you we spent some time with her family today. They got me a cake and sang me happy birthday and her mom cooked for me and we just had a great conversation. A great day for me is just like being around people who I can laugh with and who I feel comfortable around. And we just laid and watched some episodes of Real Housewives. Oh, with another one of our friends who came over to also enjoy a meal with us and to just sit and chit and chat. Ah, I just, it, it literally warms my heart. We went to the outlet malls today, came up on some jeans from Express. Express, they fit so cute. So I'll tell you what this is. This is a 70s flare mid-rise ultra hyper stretch jean. I got the size medium, which can fit a size six, eight, or 10. They also had a size small, which can fit a zero, two, or four. I needed this size and it fits really cute on the butt and the bottoms look like that. But I told you I'm in my, you know, tight booty pants era. Like I'm trying to not always have on a baggy jean. So yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get these. So jeans were purchased. Her mom got me this cute bag. I don't have anything in this color. I kind of want to see if they have a black one because I want a black bag, but I love this camel color. I love that. It's super cute. Very, very cute. Super cute bag. But she gave me the receipt, told me that if I wanted to exchange it, I could. So I might, it's from Mango. I might go and see what they talking about. I don't think I ever go and look at Mango for real. I just never do. So tomorrow's plans are still going as such. Wake up, try to get as much editing done as I can before I go to the spa. I'm still gonna take my computer with me to the spa though, and I'm gonna do some editing at the spa. I'd like to complete editing tomorrow. Like I'd like to be done with it tomorrow and get the vlog up early Monday morning and 
all I have to do on Monday is my hair. I'm going to a basketball game on Monday. We're going to go see the um, LA Clippers and the Hawks. And the Hawks have been winning these last few games. Hopefully they keep up that same energy when we go. This gift from my friend is so, it caught me off guard. The picture that she got made, and I'm not gonna share this a little personal, but the picture that she got made is so special because I saw this picture when I went over to my grandmother's house. Remember, um, was that last week I went to my grandmother's house and we went to go and get things that she was giving away and we were looking through photos. And one of the photos was a picture of my mom, my dad, my brother, and me. I have never seen a picture of us four, ever. To me, there was never a photo that existed of us four. And when I saw it, I was just like, whoa. I've never seen, our babies. Like, I've never seen a picture of us four, ever. I've never even seen a picture of like me, my dad, and my brother together as babies. And one day, I'll maybe I'll share more about my relationship with my dad. But yeah, um, this photo just, I can see so much hope here and like innocence and not just in me and my brother as babies but in my parents you know my parents are younger than me in this picture and i'm just thinking about where they were in their lives and they were just trying to figure it out with the tools they knew how to figure shit out with and this is how i learned to forgive because when i really look at it through that lens of like these are people who are working with what they got you know what i'm saying it really does help me to have more empathy in regard to the way that they've shown up or not shown up for me because I just take it less personal because really it isn't personal. Um, it feels personal sometimes, but it's not. I'm not saying that's everybody's situation, but for me, I don't think it's personal. I think it's just what it is. But yeah, this picture is something else, man. It is something else. It's really a piece of artwork. Wow. Anywho, I'm just thinking about the amount of us that really need therapy. <laughs> like, we really need someone who can talk to us and break down these feelings that we feel and affirm the feelings that we feel and educate us on the amount of people who have similar stories. Because once you remove yourself from the thinking of like, this is only happened to you, this is, you know, your bad luck, this is your family's bad luck, this is your, you know what I mean? And you realize that there are so many other people with a similar story to yours. I think it just becomes less personal and becomes more of an opportunity for you to do different. It's very, it's encouraging for me, even though I still have to work through the emotions that come with it of sadness and disappointment and frustration and, and hurt. It also does encourage me to really figure out who I am and who I wanna be and how I'd like to experience the world and how I'd like to treat people while in my experience, how do I wanna make someone else feel? What, what story do I want to have for myself? What role do I wanna play in somebody else's story? Like shit like that, you know? I'm grateful in a lot of ways for the pain that I've gone through because it really has offered me a sense of compassion and also drive to be a better fucking person and let this be a reminder too for my girls younger older whatever it's like we gonna be working through our pain for i feel like probably a lifetime of just like working through it there are certain things that can trigger memories or you know, or certain relationships that will remind you of a, another relationship that caused pain or havoc in your life. And I don't think that that just stops at a certain age and it's like, okay, I'm not gonna go through shit no more. Regardless of how you've chosen to live your life, you're still gonna go through shit. And I think the thing that I was talking about earlier about what I'm proud about within myself in the evolution that I've noticed in myself is that when I am met with challenges and met with things that trigger me in an emotional way, I know how to handle them in a way I never thought I would know how to handle them. And for that, I'm proud, you know. Right now, I'm just talking to my camera and it's really therapeutic for me to be able to vocalize my emotions and my growth and have this to look back on and say, yeah, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, you go, girl. 
You know, like, yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm proud of that. I love that. And the more that I grow, the more I want my environment to reflect my growth. You know, and that's gonna happen too. And that's when you get in that bag of like, you looking around like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it don't feel the same. You know what I'm saying? And I have to check those things too because just because you growing and learning and evolving at your pace don't mean everything and everybody around you gonna be on that same shit. And so, yeah, this ain't the time just cause you learning something and you evolving that now you looking at everybody like, why you ain't doing it too? Like, that's not for you to do. That's not for you to do. What you need to do is just worry about you and just show up as this new evolved version of yourself. And if you truly are, that judgment gonna be up off your chest and that takes time too. Now I'm talking about a whole nother thing. I feel like next week I wanna talk about that with y'all. Just like what that's like growing and like maybe realizing the people around you aren't growing or like if it, it becomes more obvious that you and the people around you are in a different place and what does that look like how do you move forward with those people what can you move forward with those people i think that's worth the conversation I, i'm not saying i got the answers i just think it's something we should have a conversation on i would like to talk that out but yeah thanks girls for watching my birthday isn't until next week but I'm celebrating this weekend, so happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Kennedy. <laughs> Bye.